So, good morning. Um, I'm Loïc Albertin. Uh, I'm from Atos and I'm working on the orchestration stack. Um, so, I, I will try to be uh, pretty quick on this one because uh, we will have, uh, we will see this uh, in depth during the end of this uh, session. Um, but the idea is to give you some context on the different uh, uh, yeah, technical components we use uh, within this uh, minimal workflow. As you can see, there is uh, already uh, some components. <laughs> and um, the other thing that is um, really important to understand is that we, uh, for this project, we identified uh, two kinds of users. Um, we first have uh, the uh, the one we call the uh, developer or workflow developer, um, and uh, this uh, this user is responsible to, uh, uh, in fact, to develop uh, to and to expose uh, some uh, some workflow to uh, the end user, uh, which was the one uh, that will uh, trigger uh, the, uh, the execution with uh, different parameters and so on. So the uh, same workflow can be used uh, by uh, different users. Um, so for the developer, um, it will interact uh, mainly with um, a, a graphical user interface, uh, which is called uh, Alien for Cloud. There is two components, Alien for Cloud and York, that are uh, part of the uh, what we call the uh, orchestration stack. Uh, they work together, um, and they are both developed at Atos. Um, so uh, the developer will interact with uh, Alien for Cloud to, uh, uh, to provide some uh, Tosca components um, and to uh, to. Uh, Compose them into uh, an application that will uh, that will expose uh, some uh, some workflows. Um, so then uh, we will use uh, York as uh, the first uh, uh, workflow orchestration engine. Um, so this uh, this component will be responsible to uh, uh, to interact with uh, the other components like uh, the uh, container image uh, creation service. Uh, we will use the REST API uh, that we we see uh, previously with the um, to automatically uh, trigger some uh, some container uh, creations and uh, retrieve uh, the different uh, uh, the location where the, the container are created and so on. And then we will interact with the uh, DLS, uh, which is another kind of workflow orchestration engine, and uh, we will trigger some pipelines to uh, uh, to uh, to get the uh, containers and to uh, to put them into uh, uh, the HPC cluster. Um, yeah, and. Uh, once uh, this this is done, um, uh, we will. I, I will go into the, more into the detail. But uh, uh, in fact, yeah, York will interact with different components uh, to uh, uh, to well set up uh, the uh, the workflow uh, on the HPC cluster, um, and then the end user will uh, be able to uh, to trigger uh, some some uh, some executions. Uh, for that, we are providing uh, what we call the uh, HPC workflow as a service API. So it's a REST API, and we also provide uh, a CLI to interact uh, with this API. And um, um, then uh, this uh, this API interact with an import cloud and York uh, to trigger some uh, some pipeline in the um, data logistics service to move data and so on. And with uh, PyComps to uh, actually run the execution uh, on the uh, HPC cluster. Uh, any questions? Oh, no? That's okay. No, no yeah, this is basically what I just say. Uh, so, yeah, two users. So, um, we, we'll go a, a bit more uh, in depth. Uh, for the uh, from the developer point of view, um, 
so uh, how it works. Uh, so first, the, the developer creates uh, and design an application uh, using alien for cloud, and then using alien for cloud, it, uh, it can uh, deploy this uh, this application. So alien for cloud will um, create a, a Tosca application um, uh, from what it's created from the graphical user interface, and will trigger the deployment uh, within. Uh, by interacting with uh, with uh, York's uh, REST API, um, so this will trigger an image build uh, uh, creation for um, the specific cluster we we try we are targeting. Um, the uh, image creation service will build and uh, publish the image on uh, a container image registry. And then uh, once done, uh, Doc will uh, uh, instruct the DLS to uh, to transfer the image uh, on the target cluster. So the DLS will, if it's uh, generally it's a singularity image in the mineral workflow, it's uh, it's okay. So uh, we will download the, uh, the the DLS will download the image uh, from the container image builder service and upload it uh, to the cluster. It's, Typically, what you just uh, saw uh, in the previous uh, uh, presentation. Um, so, how it's mod modeled in uh, Tosca? Um, so, we have created some some uh, some Tosca component. Uh, this is what we we see uh, within uh, the Alien for Cloud uh, graphical user interface. In fact. Um, Tosca components are a set of uh, uh, YAML plus uh, some uh, some artifact. Uh, we use uh, uh, typically on, on both. We use uh, Ansible to uh, to perform the uh, uh, the actual logic and the actual implementation of uh, the different uh, uh, steps of uh, the Tosca component. Um, so we have. Uh, Developed for this project uh, an image creation uh, Tosca component, and uh, we uh, have designed some uh, some uh, uh, some components that will interact with uh, the DLS. Uh, there is for no three of them. Uh, no, in fact, there is four. Uh, there is a generic one, and uh, those uh, are some. Uh, Specification specialization of uh, the first one, so one for transferring the image, uh, staging, and stage of data, and we also uh, created a, a Tosca component to run a PyCons uh, job. Okay, so different components in the catalog. Yeah, yeah. so we we are able to uh, to trigger some uh, generic. Uh, uh, pipelines on the DLS, um, but we also have created some specialized uh, uh, some specialized um, uh, components with uh, some uh, custom properties uh, that are uh, specific to uh, how we staging the data, how we stage out, uh, and so on. So. Uh, Yes, uh, what uh, what a, a, a deployment workflow will uh, look like? Uh, so, in, in fact, we uh, what we have uh, uh, designed uh, is that uh, the um, the workflow developer is able to uh, to create uh, a, a workflow. And to deploy it, and when uh, when this uh, to when it's deployed, uh, we can set up uh, some uh, uh, some uh, things uh, within the um, uh, on the uh, HPC cluster. The, the idea is to be able to uh, uh, to prepare uh, the computation. So uh, in this case, for the minimal workflow, the idea is to create the image. And to uh, and to transfer it to 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 the uh, to a specific location on the HPC cluster to make it available for the next uh, uh, for the uh, execution by the end users. 
so um, yeah, the idea is basically we have the uh, uh, the image question there, and uh, once it's done, we have the uh, image transfer. So this part is done once uh, when we deploy the application, when the uh, developer de de deploys the application. So there is uh, resources uh, for the developer. You can uh, check out on the uh, uh, on GitHub. They are all publicly available. Mm -hmm. So the different toaster components. Um, and um, what we call uh, a template. Um, so uh, those components are generic. And uh, what we can do in Toaster is to create uh, what we call a, a topology template. And basically, what we do in this template is that we uh, we uh, add code some parameters that are specific to, to the application. And it can be used to uh, to create uh, as a template to create a, a, an application within any pocket. So we will, we will see that uh, it's in the hands of the tutorial. Uh, so there is also some uh, resources to, to learn about. Those From the end user point of view, um, what we will do is uh, first we, we will interact with uh, the uh, uh, HPC uh, Worker as a Service uh, API uh, to request uh, the creation of um, an SSH keeper. Uh, so this, this keeper will be used by uh, the orchestration stack to, and the BLS uh, and so on to, to, uh, to log into the HPC cluster. So, um, we will, uh, so the, the, the uh, workflow as a service API will generate the keeper and store it into, uh, into Vault. So Vault is uh, a, secret, uh, a secret engine, a secret uh, store. And um, we will uh, generate it under a random ID. So uh, you, what the user will get is uh, the uh, Vault ID that identifies the, the, this key and uh, the public key. The, um, the private key always uh, stay on uh, the uh, vault, so it's never shared. Um, uh, the user can't, can't have access uh, on it. Um, then the user has to uh, log into the uh, HPC cluster with uh, its own uh, credentials and uh, to uh, uh, the idea is to store the public key into its uh, authorized key. Uh, so this process should be done manually. Um, and then once this is done, uh, the, the user can trigger a workflow um, and uh, it should uh, uh, specify uh, the Vault ID that will be used to uh, set up the connection uh, within uh, York and the uh, DLS. Uh, so both York and DLS authenticate to Vault using this, uh, this, uh, this ID to retrieve the uh, private key. Uh, and then we can uh, uh, learn it to the HPC cluster and trigger uh, PyCon's uh, executions. Uh, so yeah, this is the... Uh, uh, the actual workflow in Tosca, um, as you can see, it's very linear. So uh, we first uh, transfer uh, some uh, staging some data. We uh, we trigger an execution uh, using PyComps, and uh, we uh, stage out uh, the data. Okay. So again, we will see that uh, in the end zone, but we have, we have some CLI commands to uh, to list the different available workflows, to trigger them, uh, to get uh, the status of, uh, of an execution, and we can also cancel it. And also, we have some uh, specific uh, commands used to uh, for SSH key management. Um, so yeah, for the end users, the, again, we will see various in the end zone, but uh, everything is on GitHub. So yeah, I don't know if there is some questions. On the it is a generic question about the uh, interlights running 
Okay. So, uh, stay tuned, we'll be available.